بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, our case scenario today is uh, 12 days old infant had tracheostomy tube it's due to severe hypotonia and high BSO2 due to respiratory failure for sure mom have history of having difficulty in doing daily work Antenatal history is positive for polyhydramnus and decreased fetal movement. Antenatal ultrasound showed knuckle lucency of 3.2 mm. Serum lactate is 1.8, ammonia is 54, CBK is 12, and muscle biopsy is bending. What is the most likely cause of this condition in this infant? The differential diagnosis. A. Degeneration of anterior horn cell B. Alteration of the muscle protein with dysfunction sodium potassium channel C. Immune process involving the neuromuscular junction D. Genetic defect of the neuromuscular junction E. Chromosomal abrasion First of all, this case of hypotonia I have to differentiate between central or peripheral hypotonia or upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron Lower motor neuron, it will be hyperflexia hypotonia and tongue fasciculation. This is cardinal sign for uh, peripheral hypotonia. For upper motor neuron, the baby will be dysmorphic, seizure, decreased level of conscious, and uh, initially it will be hypotonia, then hypertonia, and spasticity. We'll take one by one, 12 days old infant with trachosomy, the age of the presentation. So 12 days old, the age of presentation exclude what? My senior grief is because my senior grief is it will come immediately after birth. So from the age, I can exclude one of the differential diagnosis. 12 days old. So it's exclude the my senior griefs. Type. Another point in the, this uh, quiz, mom have uh, history or give history of difficulty in doing daily work. Any mother having fatigue or cannot do doing her work or all of this, but in your mind, this is my senior grievous or my tonia dystrophica. You have to examine the mother, shake hand and for hypotonia and all of this. Any mother will give you this history, you have to examine the mother to exclude my senior grievous and exclude my tonia dystrophica. We excluded the uh, my senior grievous by the age because it will baby will present immediately after birth. My tonia dystrophica is still there is the possibility of my tonia dystrophica by this history because the mother is affected. The spinal muscle atrophy can, can exclude it from this history because the spinal muscle atrophy, the mother or the parents, it will be not affected because it's autosomal recessive and can be presented uh, actually less than six months if the type 1 spinal muscle atrophy. So the antenatal history, positive polyhydramnus and decreased fetal uh, movement. This indicates hypotonia, most probably lower motor neuron. This, if there is a fetal uh, movement decrease and the polyhydramnus, but in your mind, this is hypotonia, it's due to lower motor neuron or peripheral hypotonia. Antenatal scan ultrasound shows knuckle lucency to rule out the chromosomal abnormalities or Down syndrome is 3.2 and serum lactate 1.8, ammonia is normal 54, CBK is normal 12, muscle biopsy is bending, and most, what is the most likely cause? So, A, degeneration of the anterior horn cell, this is spinal muscle atrophy, uh, we excluded because the parent should be uh, unaffected, and the presentation will be less than six months, and this is case, it's autosomal recessive. Alteration of the muscle protein with dysfunction of the sodium potassium channel. This is case of myotonia dystrophica, and this is most probably this uh, cause of hypotonia is due to myotonia dystrophica because my senior grief is actually excluded because the age. My senior grief can present immediately after birth. And they will give the mother will be affected. Actually, uh, she has uh, actually uh, difficulty during doing his uh, work. Immune process involved in the neuromuscular junctions in Mycenae as we excluded by the age presentations. Genetics and the chromosomal, and most probably it's due to upper motor uh, neuron, the genes and chromosome and uh, encephalopathies and all of this. So our case here, this is myotonia dystrophica. Why myotonia dystrophica? Because the mother is affected and exclude the mycenia grief is by the age. So examination of the mother, when to examine the mother for hypotonia, 
if there is congenital myotonia dystrophica and myasthenia gravis. How to differentiate between congenital myotonia dystrophica and myasthenia gravis? Age presentation. Myasthenia uh, gravis, the baby will present immediately after birth. It will not be 12 days like this case. And the, both or the mother will be affected. Uh, this is age of onset. Age of onset, as we know, the presentation complaint, decreased muscle tone, difficult sucking, decreased movement, delayed motor milestone, complication of the uh, muscle weakness, recurrent respiratory infection, and all of this. Age of presentation, this is the most important clue, will help you to exclude the etiology of the hypotenia. Like spinal muscle atrophy type 1, it will be less than 6 months. Spinal muscle atrophy type 2, it will be 3 months to 15 months. Spinal muscle atrophy type 3, it will be at or after 12 uh, months. Neonatal mycenia grievous soon after birth. This is our case actually, soon after birth to exclude from other differential diagnosis. Juvenile mycenia, it will be more than 6 months. So our case here, the uh, the answer, the proper answer, it's B. B, it's uh, actually, this is my C, uh, myotonia dystrophica. Uh, our objective from this quiz, how to differentiate between the hypotonia causes, either central or peripheral. If it's peripheral, how to differentiate between the peripheral, it's anterior horn cell or neuromuscular or uh, nerve defect or neuromuscular defect or muscle defect, myopathies or uh, dystrophies or all of this. So, uh, the critical assessment for this case, mother is affected. So, our differential diagnosis, myotonia dystrophica or myasthenia grievous. Why? Because the mother is affected. Infant as is 12 days old, exclude the myasthenia grievous because it, the presentation, it will be after birth immediately. Myotonia dystrophica, it's defect in the dysfunction of sodium potassium channel. This is the main uh, mechanism or the defect of myotonia dystrophica is dysfunction of sodium potassium channels. Spinal muscle atrophy is less likely. Why? Because it's autosomal recessive and the parents actually it will be normal. But this case, the, the mother is uh, affected. Our reference from this case, neonatal prenatal uh, medicine uh, actually is Fanarov and uh, Martin. So, how to differentiate between the upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron? In general, lower motor neuron, hypotonia, hyperflexia, fasciculation. But in your mind, this three, this is triad, we call it triad. Hypotonia, hyperflexia, fasciculation, tongue, fasciculation. Anyhow, we'll take history by history, go systematic. History of pregnancy in the central, it will be poor prenatal care, alcohols or abuse or maternal illness. For peripheral hypotonia, decreased fetal movement with polyhydramnus. Decreased fetal movement goes with lower motor neuron. Like our case, it was decreased fetal movement with velohydramnus. So this is lower motor neuron lesions. Family history, positive metabolic disorder, because that we did for the baby with uh, CBK and uh, ammonia and lactate and became normal. So it's excluded the upper motor neuron lesion. For the peripheral hypotonia, positive motor units or myotonia, uh, myotonic disorders. The birth history during the delivery, baby uh, has birth asphyxia. It's, uh, there is any cesarean section or emergency cesarean section will give you clue. This is due to prenatal asphyxia, hypoxia, this upper motor neuron. If uh, body had ramnus, it will give you clue for lower motor neuron. Why you are examining the patient? Hypotonia, hyperflexia, tongue fasciculation, this lower motor. Uh, initially for upper motor, it will be hypotonic, then hypertonic. Baby will be spastic, dysmorphic uh, features. This is how to approach for hypotonic baby. This is approach for hypotonic baby. The approach it will go smoothly. We'll take details history with a clear examination. There is uh, evidence of hypoxia. Uh, during the birth, it indicates acute hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. This is upper motor neuron. If there is no hypoxic uh, event, you have to exclude the other causes uh, of uh, HIE or there is any brain lesion or spinal uh, cord injuries. Uh, to how to, you have to rule out the acute infection, systemic etiology, like hypothyroidism, sepsis, and congenital heart disease. Then, how to differentiate between the upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. 
this is hypotonia with weakness or without weakness with weakness this is lower motor neuron without weakness this is upper motor neuron upper motor the level of conscious will be affected the baby will be encephalopathic apathic it will be dysmorphic, seizure, it will having a predominantly axial hypotonia, loss of tone or of the sphincter and all of this. Lower, hypo, lower hypotonia, lower motor neuron hypotonia, hypotonia, hyporeflexia, fasciculation. Hypotonia, hyperflexia, fasciculation. Just this is triad. This is triad. So if the patient having upper motor neuron lesion, consider inheritance, metabolic disorder, could be chromosomal like brother Willy, Down syndrome, and other uh, trisomies. If the patient having also structural etiological, uh, etiological causes, might be brain hemorrhage, hypoxia, trauma, HIE, cortical degeneration, this is upper motor neuron lesion. Lower motor neuron lesion, anterior horn cell. Anterior horn cell, this is spinal muscle atrophy. Spinal muscle atrophy. Or nerve, it will be neuropathy. Or polyneuropathy. Or neuromuscular junction, it is actually, it will be mycenia uh, grievous, congenital myopathies, or myotonia dystrophica. For sure, the baby, uh, if you would like to request for any imaging uh, CPK, and you have to examine the parents, and you have to do muscle biopsy, and you have to do electromyography nerve conductive velocity this you have to request it for lower motor neuron uh, lesions so how to differentiate between the upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron both a triad Tri triad for lower motor hypotonia hyperflexia and fasciculation hypotonia hyperflexia fasciculation so the upper motor neuron lesion hypotonia in infancy and will be spastic hypotonia without weakness in the lower motor hypotonia with weakness it will be profound hypotonia uh, mild weakness or normal strength as we said the power the power here it will be hypotonia without weakness in the lower motor you have hypotonia with weakness significant uh, weakness increased uh, the deep tender reflexes in the upper motor decreased tender reflexes in the or absent in the lower motor abnormal reflexes the bibniski and all of this it will be with upper motor and the no abnormal reflexes it will be with lower motor no muscle atrophy with uh, upper motor neuron there is muscle atrophy with lower motor neuron delayed uh, developmental milestone it will be with upper motor actually only motor skills it will be delayed with lower motor neuron sign and symptom of cns involvement like encephalopathies apathic it will be with upper motor neuron it will not appear in the lower motor neuron so lower motor neuron triad hypotonia hyperflexia and fasciculation it will be having muscle uh, atrophy the only motor skills it will be delay and the level of conscious it will be preserved and and no seizure and uh, it will be associated with muscle uh, atrophy. Shukran, salamu alaikum.